And we start tonight with new reaction on the starvation death of a child and the arrests of three people who were supposed to take care of her. The allegations are horrific and sadly familiar. Our Ben Gutierrez has details on the murder investigation and the similarities to other cases. Ben? The death of 10-year-old Gianna Bradley is the third recent case involving child abuse and neglect. And we warn you now, the details of her suffering may be difficult to hear. This is the home on Karsten Drive, where three weeks ago, officers found the emaciated body of Gianna Bradley, just 10 years old. Authorities say she suffered from pneumonia, long-term abuse and neglect, and had multiple facial injuries. Police arrested her legal guardians, Brandy and Thomas Bloss, and her grandmother, Deborah Geron. They're all charged with murder. HPD says their cell phones held recordings of violent interactions. These included disturbing images of a child who appears to be Gianna, enclosed in a small area and bound with duct tape. The child's arms are taped to her torso, and there is duct tape wrapped around her eyes, forehead, and over the top of her head. Child Welfare Services took custody of the boss's four biological children and an adopted four-year-old son, who police say was very thin and had arm injuries. The agency told us it did not get any reports of abuse or neglect involving Gianna Bradley in the eight years before her death on January 18th. But in the fall of 2022, the family did withdraw the child from public school. Particularly when you're dealing with special needs children, that's a huge red flag to pull a kid like that out of public school, especially if you've got them in a foster placement with people who aren't, you know, known educators. Child advocate Steve Lane says it's a red flag that authorities have failed to recognize before. Shayla Lahana Stone on Hilo on the Big Island several years ago, chained to a radiator in the basement and starved to death by her grandmother. Ariel Kalur, a special needs child, taken out of a foster home, dead. And now this child. Shailen Lahano Stone was nine when she was starved to death in Hilo in 2016. Her parents, Tiffany Stone and Kevin Lahano, both spent two years in prison. Her grandmother, Henrietta Stone, pled no contest to manslaughter just this week. And in Waimanalo, six-year-old Ariel Kalua has been missing since August 2021. Her adoptive parents, Isaac and Lihua Kalua, are awaiting trial for murder. Lane says eight years ago, family court judge Mark Browning wrote a protocol aimed at protecting foster children. But it's quite clear that it requires all mandated reporters concerned with foster children, if they simply suspect harm, to report it to the presiding judge. That hasn't happened in eight years. While the government tries to protect children, HPD's chief says it often takes relatives, neighbors, and friends to step up and speak out. That's why I'm asking the community for your help. If you can see, or if you see any of this out there, to please call either 911 or Crime Stoppers and provide information. Besides second degree murder, the Blosses and Geron are also charged with kidnapping and unlawful imprisonment. Brandy Bloss and Geron are also charged with hindering prosecution. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.